Hey guys, Dave the Software Dev here again, and today we're going to talk about uh, alerts using both Bootstrap and uh, Toaster, which is a pretty neat little alerting library. Uh, I'm going to start with Bootstrap because uh, it's super easy. I've got here an HTML document, and all I need uh, really are uh, just the Bootstrap uh, min CSS, and uh, I, I'm also including jQuery in this because I'm going to write some uh, some JavaScript code. If I was just going to display those alerts, you know, by themselves on a static page without any without any JavaScript running, then uh, I would really only need the Bootstrap uh, CSS for this. So what I like to do usually, I'm going to have a spot on my page where I'm going to show an alert anyway, such as when a person clicks, uh, you know, save or or anything like that. So I like to go ahead and define that div there. So I'm going to create a div. I'm going to give it an ID of alert and I'm going to hide it by giving it a class of hide and no content. Uh, so it's really just a, a blank div right now. So I'm going to fill it in with some some JavaScript uh, or I'm, rather I'm going to give it a value from JavaScript uh, when a user clicks on one of these uh, buttons that I've got here. So I've got four buttons, uh, one to show success, one to show warning, uh, alert, and then one to hide any uh, alerts that already exist. And I've given them uh, each an ID so I can differentiate between them, and I've given them uh, some classes from Bootstrap too so they'll have different colors. So I'm going to write my JavaScript code now that's going to make these buttons active. Okay, so there's the uh, JavaScript code. Basically, I've written four functions here uh, that are going to be called on the click of the button success, the warning, the error, and the hide button. So what I'm doing in each one, I'm doing the same thing pretty much. Uh, I'm grabbing my alert uh, div, and then I call remove class on it. It's going to remove any uh, classes that already exist uh, because, you know, for this particular demo, you could click any of the buttons at any time. And then I'm going to add the classes back to give it the alert class, which is the bootstrap class to define an alert. And then alert success, in this case, um, which is uh, a sort of a green colored background uh, with, a, with a green border on it. And uh, then a message of success there. For my warning, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with the alert warning class and a different text message. And for the error, exact same thing, except with the alert error class. Lastly, in my uh, button hide code, I'm just going to hide that div entirely. So let's save this and take a look at it. So here are our buttons. Uh, there's my success button and warning, error, and hide. When I click success, that's going to uh, add the alert and alert success class to my alert div. And uh, there you can see it's got a green uh, background. Warning has a, a little you know, orangey type of background on it. And then the alert is uh, sort of a reddish color. And then our button to hide hides that alert. Okay, I'm back here in my code. And uh, the very first thing I'm going to do to use Toaster is I'm going to include the Toaster library, uh, which I've already got downloaded. And uh, I'll uh, put a link to it in the video description. So all I have to do is include that JavaScript file, and I also have to include a CSS file for Toaster. So there I've got my CSS file for Toaster and my uh, JavaScript source file for Toaster. So I'm going to replace these alerts with our Toaster calls. And all I have to say is toaster.success and then my message. For my warning, I'll just say toaster.warning and then my message again. And lastly for my alerts, it's toast or for my error alert, it's toaster.error. And then to clear any alerts, we have toaster.clear, which will hide any visible uh, toasts that are currently showing. Now they do fade out over time. Uh, but this, this clear function will just hide them if any are still available on the screen. Okay, I had a, a typo that I had to go back and correct. I had misspelled uh, JavaScript there, but I have that corrected now. And we're going to save and refresh. And then I will get uh, these little toaster alerts when I click to show success. By default, they pop up in the top right-hand side of the screen. And they have nice little icons along with the message that I'm showing. 
and they can also stack if you do multiples at once and that's where the the hide toast comes into play so i hope you learned a little bit about alerts uh, today with bootstrap and toaster uh, if this helped you out please uh, like the video and share it and subscribe thanks